Are you a newly certified open water diver looking to improve your diving skills? In this video, I'll tell you five useful tips to become a better diver. Welcome back guys, I hope you all doing great and if you are new here, subscribe so you don't miss all the great videos coming. But without further ado, let's jump straight to the first one. The first thing I always say to my students at the end of their open water diver course is to dive as much as they can, because after three or four training dives, you know the basics of scuba diving, but you need few more dives to fix the knowledge just learned into your mind, into your scuba diving soul, and to feel more comfortable with the scuba diving equipment and with the underwater environment. So dive, dive, dive. But Andrea, I already dived once on that spot. I already know it. Uh-huh. Come here. I want to tell you a secret. Come here. Fishes have fins. They swim. Come on guys, really? You have been on that dive site once and you don't want to dive on it anymore because you already know it. I've done more than a thousand times this spot. And more than 500 this other one. And every time I find something new and I learn new tiny details that I've never seen before. So dive as much as you can and you will see that every dive you will feel more comfortable and your skill will be improved. The second tip that I want to give you is to use your BCD as less as possible. I'm not saying not to use your BCD plowing the sea bottom, but many times divers that just got their open water diver certification tends to use their BCDs too much, also for tiny adjustments, leading to higher air consumption and more stress. So try to use your BCD only three times during a dive. The first one is to start descending from the surface. The second is to stop your descent when you reach the plan depth. And the third one is to deflate a little bit while ascending at the end of the dive. All the other times that you want to do minor adjustment to your buoyancy, use your lungs. Remember that your lungs are like having a built-in BCD that is faster and more reliable. By breathing in, you're going to have a more positive buoyancy and breathing out, you're going to have a more negative buoyancy. By doing so, you are also going to decrease your air consumption rate and you are really going to improve your buoyancy skills. And don't forget to keep your BCD full inflated when you are by the surface to float without the need of getting tired by finning. The third thing is don't exceed your limits. I know that going deeper and deeper may be tempting because we don't know what we can find down there or maybe because we see that beautiful Gorgonian branch that seems so close to us that we may think about going to see it. But don't. Don't exceed your limits. There is so much to see at 18 meters that with the open water diver you can dive almost everywhere around the world. But if you really want to go deeper, then consider doing the advanced course it allows you to dive at a maximum depth of 30 meters after a few training dives with your instructor. Guys, don't think you are superheroes because exceeding your limits is dangerous and you never know when an accident will happen. Talking about getting your next certification, the next tip is don't run for certs. So many times I've seen divers from all over the world coming into the dive center showing proudly their rescue diver cert but with 20 or less dives on their dive log. There is nothing wrong being an open water diver and doing open water divers dives. I've seen a lot of open water divers 
dive better than their guide or having more dives on their dive logs than a lot of instructors. Guys, take it easy. Don't do two or three courses back to back during your holidays just because you want another cert. Because if you are doing so, you are going to take it as a job and you are going to get tired of it really fast and easily. Do fun dives, enjoy diving and make experience. I'm saying this against my interest because I'm a scuba diving instructor and I make money selling you courses. And trust me, if I want to, I can sell you a course really easily. You have to understand that it's not a race and it's not the level of certification that you have that makes you a good diver, but how comfortable you feel while diving, how conscious you are about the marine environment surrounding you, how you breathe and how you manage your buoyancy. So remember to dive as much as you can having fun before applying for the next course. Before to get in the fifth tip, if you have any suggestion for new divers that I haven't mentioned, let me know in the comments below and I will pick the best ones and make a new video with them. The fifth tip is not only for newly certified open water diver, but is almost for everyone. Keep the right distances. When we talk about distances, there are three types of divers. The two most common are the glued one that is actually like glued to the body, the dive guide or every other diver in the group. It is the one that when you move a tiny bit you're already bumping on him and is also the one that looks like he enjoys being slapped by your fins. And the faraway type that is always the last of the group it is the one that the dive guide can barely see his bubbles that always tries to go deeper than the guide and slows down the entire group because everyone has to wait for him to get closer. The third and most uncommon type of diver is the right distancing one. This almost mythological creature uses to stay out of the reach of other divers fins respecting the directives of the dive guide. He's aware of what is the surrounding and who and what is around him. So let's try to make this mythological creature into something more common and try to keep the right distances. I know that you can do it and your dive guide or your diving instructor will really appreciate that. Okay guys, now you know the first five tips to become a better scuba diver. And what do you think if I make a video about the top 5 things that many instructors do wrong? I'll leave you the poll up here. So let me know if you would like it. If you appreciate this video, smash the like button and subscribe to help this channel grow and deliver more and better content. See you in the next video. Peace!